The commute home is likely a lot easier than it was this morning for people who take the GO train in our area. Halton police responded to a suspicious package at Bronte Station affecting service on the Lakeshore West Line, which heads into downtown Toronto. As Hattie Azad tells us, while everyone is safe, the wait was long and frustrations were high. So I left for work on a 7.55 a.m. train and it's after 10 and I still haven't made it to Toronto. I'm tired. <laughs> I have a lot of things I need to do today and uh, they're not happening right now. Shortly before 6.30 this morning, Halton police used social media to tell commuters to avoid Bronte Station as they were investigating a suspicious package found on a platform. So we got a call about 5.30 a.m. this morning for a sus suspicious package. As a result, all train and bus traffic in and out of the station was temporarily suspended. It's a huge disruption for the community. Thousands of people rely on this as a, as a means to, to commute from, from Halton to, uh, to Toronto and, and home. And, um, you know, obviously safety was our number one concern this morning. Around 10.30 this morning, police found out that the suspicious package was an explosive, but they're still here at the scene to see if it was left on purpose. Earlier this morning, the Oakville station was jam-packed and drivers found it difficult to find parking, causing more disruption to their commute. It's all right, but it's a little more stressful than usual because the train is not coming when they said it would. This video shows the first train to stop at Bronte after the reopening. At this point, police aren't saying what was inside the package, but we do know they cleared the scene around 11.30 a.m. Anyone with information is being asked to contact police. In Oakville, I'm Hattie Azad with CHCH News.